Earth, third planet from the sun, and the only object in the universe known to harbor life. According to Rath, read Neil Murdrick dating and other sources of evidence, Earth formed over four and a half billion years ago. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Has one moon, which is Luna, even though you call it the moon. The diameter of Earth is 13,000 kilometers. Surface area, 510 million square kilometers. Distance from the sun, 150 million kilometers. Also known as one astronomical unit. Gravity is almost 10 meters per second squared. Mass is almost 6 kilograms. Yeah, Earth is, is almost over 4.5 billion years old. So, why is Earth the only planet for life? So, you can just find out. Let's go back in time and find out how did Earth got life. So, four and a half billion years ago, Earth was formed. Then about, then about a couple million years later, a Mars, Mars-sized object collided with the Earth and formed the Moon. And at that time, when the day on Earth was so quick, because the moon was so close, because it was collided a few millions of years ago, it was six hours a day, meaning three hours of daytime, three days, I mean three hours at night. Yeah, three, three and eight tenths billion years ago. Life began. Venus, Earth, and Mars, they all had life together. So, yeah, by that time, yeah, all plate tectonics were all formed. And, and most of the entire Earth is water. And Earth still has more water now. Because that's why everyone called this planet a blue planet. Because there's more water. That's because water is what we need for life. Yeah, at around 3 billion years ago, Mars was losing a lot of water and atmosphere. Then Mars lost life. Two and a half billion years ago, Venus was getting hotter because the sun was getting brighter. And, and then Venus became a hell world. So, yep, Earth is the only planet for life. Because there are continents on Earth, which are Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, Oceania, Antarctica, and South America. Those are all the seven continents that are on this Earth. And the five oceans, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. So Earth has 70% of water, 30% of land. So yeah, meaning, I mean there's seven tenths on Earth's surf, of the Earth's surface is water, and three tenths of the Earth's surface is land. Because all all those millions of years, tectonic plates were shifting. Because that's from the mantle of the convention currents. Yeah, seven ways that you can prove the Earth is not flat. Well, you may, may think it's flat because it's inside, but it's not. It is actually round. Because since the Earth's rotation is getting longer, one day on Earth is 24 hours. Right now, since it did got four times longer than, than four billion years ago, yeah, and Earth has four seasons because it takes 365 days to go around the sun. Yeah, because right now, it's almost summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Meaning, if it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, then it is winter in the Southern Hemisphere. 
And if it is winter in the northern hemisphere, then it's summer in the southern hemisphere. So that's why Earth is the only planet for life. But there are other habitable planets that are called exoplanets. There can be ones like yeah, like Kepler 186f and Kepler 22b in, in the very far future, because in 1 billion years, Earth will no longer be in the habitable zone, meaning it'll be too hot for light because the sun's luminosity will be 10% greater, meaning it'll be 10% brighter than today. By the time the sun runs out of hydrogen, Mars will be in the habitable zone. Yeah, there are other places in the future that will be habitable, which are Mars, the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Jupiter's moons, Europa, Orion, Ganymede, Callisto, Saturn and its moons, like Titan, that, that has methane rain. Rain is his moons, like Miranda, Titania, Obi-Wan, Ariel. Neptune's moons like Proteus, Nereid, Larissa, or even Pluto or Charon. Or there are many other dwarf planets. They will all be habitable in the future. Since 5 billion years, the sun will become a red giant and will expand near the planet's orbit and will engulf Mercury and Venus. Year. Like, the sun could can be 256 times bigger than today, meaning, like, the Earth's orbit could get bigger. Yeah, since at that time, the Earth's rotation will be a lot slower, since the Earth's rotation is slowing down. And our moon will be extremely far away. But then after that, the sun will become a white dwarf. And a day on Earth will be tidally locked if it survives. Alright, that's all I have to say for this video. It's all about Earth. Next Thursday, what we're gonna do is about our moon. See you in the next video.